So starting out with the Galaxy S3 on top that we brought along with us, the 4 can peek out from behind. This is the new Galaxy S4, which we just saw in Brandon's hands-on. And just take a look at the physical characteristics you can see right away here. Look at those bezel sizes. If we can maybe get a close-up uh, in the space between those phones. The Galaxy S3 bearing a much, much wider bezel than, than the new one. And while we're in the vicinity of the bezel, also check out the kind of dull faux brush plastic, the faux brush metal the plastic on the S3. It's been replaced by this very glinty thing. This is not a chamfered edge or a beveled edge as we see on the iPhone 5 and the HTC One, but it looks like it because it is much, much shinier. Uh, and also, you can see this kind of texture that we might not be able to pick up on camera. The S3 here is just completely smooth, just glossy, no, no uh, pattern at all underneath the hyperglaze. Whereas on the S3, come around back here, you can see maybe on this white one here, this uh, kind of pattern. It is not textured, so this feels this feels exactly the same. Maybe the hyperglaze on the new S4 feeling a little bit less frictiony. Look at the size of that camera lens here. That, that lens cover is huge for that 13 megapixel sensor, and unless my eyes are deceiving me, even that uh, lens is larger. Obviously, this is a Verizon version of the Galaxy S3 here, but the uh, processor inside the S4 is substantially more powerful, depending on the version you're talking about. Uh, we don't have official confirmation on site here, but uh, definitely at least one version of the S4 pack in that octa-core, and now we can compare the displays. Obviously, we don't have the same wallpaper here. Unlock the display. This is a full 1080p Super AMOLED display at 4.99 inches on the left on the Galaxy S4. Smart Stay activated up there. Uh, one of the features carried over from the S3 but enhanced on the S4. Obviously, the S4 pack and only a 720p display. So you can really see that difference uh, best if we fire up a video here and show you that not only has the color saturation been retained, but the uh, resolution, the increased resolution is apparent. Before we get too far away from the physical dimensions, we should mention that the S4 is only 5 grams lighter than the S3, but it feels substantially lighter. I mean, it feels much lighter than that in the hand. I don't know what, what kind of uh, magic physics apply here at the Radio City Music Hall. But the S4 definitely has a much different feel in the hand. It looks it looks a bit more like the Note 2, but it is certainly nowhere near the size of the Note 2. You can see the speaker has been moved from the upper right down to the lower left on the S4. His end of the flash has been moved around a little bit. You know, these are kind of minor, minor, minor changes. But speaking of the Note 2, some features have been adap adapted uh, from that device. The new enhanced uh, AirPlay-like functionality, or AirView-like functionality, where you can I'm not sure if you can get an angle here, but you can kind of hover your finger over the lock screen. I'm not touching the lock screen, but it is responding to my proximity. I can use this display with gloved hands if I want to. And if we hop into something like the gallery, by the way, while we're doing that, you'll notice that TouchWiz is almost completely unchanged between these two devices. I mean, uh, TouchWiz almost could not have been given a more subtle revamp, if we can even call it a revamp. It's, it's basically the same Nature UX. But in the gallery, instead of just instead of touching it, if your hands are all full of ketchup or something like that, maybe you're a big fan of fast food, you can swipe your hand right over the display to scroll between images, to scroll between videos, and so on, which is pretty cool. And also, we can't demo it on camera right now because we can't get a good angle, but there's also the enhanced smart say functionality where you can look at the bottom of, say, a browser window. The device will scroll for you. Uh, we're going to check and see. How, how well that responds, but uh, compared to the smart stay only functionality in the S3, that's a significant improvement and that shows some innovation in a skin that is otherwise substantially the same. So once again, just a quick look at the Galaxy S3 versus the Galaxy S4 here at the Samsung launch event at Radio City Music Hall. Michael with Pocket Now, Brandon behind the camera, stay tuned.